Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is material? The swizzle node. The swizzle node, besides having a fantastic node, is basically when you're changing a input into another out. Not another input, but you're changing an input into an output by simply switching things around. Th that's it. That's all a swizzle node is. If we were to actually pull up the function and look at it, you'll see it's basically just masking out inputs and flipping them around. So let's look at this in action. We have our swizzle node here. If we right click, type in swizzle, it's under miscellaneous and it's going to come in with just two inputs and two outputs. The inputs are x, y, z, and x, y, so a v2 and a v3, and it's basically going to flip your x and your y. That's the intention of it. So the input of your x and a y, v2, your output will be a y, x. Now if we actually look at this, it's really simple to see. Here's our input. Green along our vertical, red along our horizontal. So we have x of red and y of green. When we swizzle it, we now have the opposite. We have a red for the vertical and a green for the horizontal. As you can see, it is literally just flipped. Now if we were to do the same thing here for our heart and refresh this, you're going to see, well, basically nothing. I'm basically, my X and my Y on this one are the same. It's not really an issue. If we were to put in like a red channel, we're of course going to have an issue because it's expecting an X, Y, Z. If we change to something that has a little bit more color tone, so let's move this over and find something like a blue dot. My blue dot has colors in the X, Y, and the Z. And if we were to swizzle the X and the Y, we now have a purple dot because we're flipping the values of our red and green to green and red. So our red and green values, whatever they were, are now red, and green, and red. They're flipped. So as a use for this, you can swizzle in order to basically turn something around. Uh, let me let me move this over and show you the actual swizzle in a node. I always forget to do this. There we go. We'll do it like that. There we go. So my output's still going to be the same. So we have our texture coordinate, and my texture coordinate is going to be, it looks like this. And all I'm doing is adjusting it with a bias scale to basically move it down towards the middle. So we have a green bar right here going horizontally and a red bar going vertically. Remember, X and Y, red and green. Now I'm flipping those, I'm swizzling them, and if you look, we now have red vertical, red horizontal, green horizontal, green vertical. All I did was switch the channels, which gave me the opposite results. Now I'm throwing those into my vector to radial node, and what that's letting me do is basically output originally non-swizzled, my line is to the right, and once I swizzle it, my line is to the bottom. So it's useful if you need to flip a color value, or if you need to flip a XY value, because again, it's XY, you can use that for coordinate values, vector values. So that's it, that's what our swizzle node is for. It's useful when you just basically don't want to have this code, mask and append, or mask and multiple pens. You just use one simple node with a few inputs and a few outputs.